So here I am on a property record, a standard property form with an expert agent. To access the matching option, it's under the action menu, which is available by the right click of the mouse. Also by selecting the whitelist icon on the right hand side. You've got the matching option and from there you've got your match processor submenu. Clicking into that it should empty up an empty grid. Down at the bottom it should always say there are no records to display. Do check what it says down here. If it says grid is filtered, you will need to access your action menu and clear the filters. The matching grid should always be clear before you start running a match on it. To run a new match, you've got two options. You've also got the option here for new match or down at the bottom to add an applicant. Now you can add an applicant in for this property match if you know the applicant will not match to the property for any particular reason. The applicant um, is not looking in the property's area or the property is out of the applicant's price range but you will think they like it, they will like it anyway. So we're just going to run a new match. Selecting a new match from the action menu, it will ask us to include applicants already matched for price changes. Include other office applicants if you work in part of a multi-branch firm. Include applicants irrespective of the required dates and that's more likely to be used for lettings as the required dates on a property is applicable to the matching of an applicant. And clear filters on running a match are really important that one. Make sure you are always seeing all of your matches when you run the match. Press the save button down at the bottom and the system will run that match for you. Now it's found us 12 applicants and we press OK and it's populated the grid with those 12 applicants. Now opening up the tooltip at the top of the match grid, you can scroll down your applicant column and check which applicants are suitable for this property. Always remembering to use the lock column on the left hand side there to lock your applicants into the control panel. You can go and see their recent events, see if they've been matched before. We're doing what we call a sense check at this point to untick any applicants that you do not want to send this property to. Using your knowledge of the applicants and the property, you can untick a couple of the people here. So I'm just going to do a quick sense check. And once you are finished, on the action menu, reject excluded. So the ones that we have unticked are excluded. We are now going to reject them. Always reject your matches. Get rid of them from the grid. You do not want them sitting on the property record or the applicant record as a pending match on the events tabs. We're now left with eight matches that we're happy to send out with this property attached. So we're going to open up the action menu, select our outputs from the option and select email. Later on, we are going to look at sending by text and by letter. You've also got the option here to create reports and labels for your letters as well. We're going to be sending by email, so clicking on the send email button will open up your match email, which you can change for all applicants in configuration. This is a single property going to multiple applicants. So in the subject here, we can just write in new instruction and then 6 Trinity Street. Now we can change this match email for these eight applicants that it's going to at this particular point, or we can just leave it as it is, but do remember this is going to multiple applicants, so you can't be very personal in the email because it is going to multiple applicants. Underneath here, we've got the option to mark our matches as complete and exclude upon completion. What the system will do is go through all of the applicants one by one and check they are received, ticked to receive emails and check they have a valid email address in the system. If they do, they will send the email. It will mark the match as complete and remove that match from the match grid, but placing it on the events tab of the property and the applicant. So it's very safe to have both of these ticked. Later on you will see how you will need to untick one of these if you are sending out via letter or if you wanted to send out via another output method 
after sending the email. I'm going to have both of them ticked and press the save button. So it sent out seven emails. So the one that it didn't send, send is left in the match grid for us. We can click into the match. We can click into the applicant record. And we can see that they are, have got an email address here, but they are not ticked to receive emails. So if you know this has been done for a reason, you can obviously go away and send that match via a text message or via letter. If you think this is a mistake, you can click send emails at this point and press save. Close down the applicant record, close down the match and try again. If you didn't want to save, send this match though, what you can do is untick this match, right click and reject excluded. The aim of running a match is you start with an empty match, you need to end with an empty grid. You never want any records left displaying in your match grid when you close it down. You can now close down the match grid and on the events tab, you can see here that we have got all of our matches sitting on the events tab. And these are the active matches, the ones that I actually sent.